This will be our work surface right here, guys. What I've tamped out in about 80 inches, that is eight zero inches of snow. These are the MSR, I think they're called the Denali Classic snowshoes. I've had them for a long time, love them. Check out where we are. And there is a separate adventure video posting to show you how I got here and how I'm getting out. Temperature is a balmy 20 degrees or so. It might get a little bit colder on the way out. It was mostly a sunny day. I'm filming this in the wilderness, not in my backyard, not behind a double wide. It's here in the wilderness. So here's what we're gonna do. Wilderness guys, TMPers, you'll like this video. I'm gonna test in field several different new fire starters that I've purchased. And let's just see how they work right here. Okay, so again, this is our work surface. We're in a high use area. So it is kind of remote, especially in the winter time. No one comes up here or few come up here in the winter. But I can, you know, I'm not gonna process wood up here. I mean, here's one standing dead aspen. I could fall that and process it. But I don't need a lot of wood for this experiment, what we're doing right now, I don't. Now in an area that didn't see a lot of people, I wouldn't mind stripping these limbs off at all and using them, but in this area, no. So what I'm driving to is that I actually packed in my own wood for this test. Split today at the house with a Topps Armageddon. Here's the footage. Cool, it worked great. It should, it's a quarter inch thick, huge, heavy survival knife. So let's get to it. We're gonna build a fire platform first. It's gonna be raw edit, just the way I like it. And I'm gonna give you my opinion on this stuff. Maybe we're simulating that, you know, I have to spend the night up here. Look at this nice fire platform I'm gonna have. Oh, excellent. You know, and this is a time where a fire starter like the ones we're gonna test would be super, super handy. Oh, that's a great fire platform. I think I'm gonna start doing this more often. <laughs> Packing this in, it's flat and perfect. Get that out of the way. Uh, let me get my snow blade. Hang on a sec. Uh, what do they call this, a snow claw? Yeah, the snow claw. This is what I use a lot when, when I go on day hikes. Look at how they can just totally sculpt the snow the way you want it. Awesome. Okay, so this is completely non-scientific. <gasps> it's just kind of a, an initial look. I'm gonna start off with my all-time favorite fire starter, trioxane. Man, I love this stuff. It is so excellent. I've used it forever. And uh, I think it's still gonna win this race. I could be wrong, and I would kinda like that if I was. So let me do this. I'm gonna put the trioxane right here. There is gonna be kinda chunks of snow here and there. And we'll just kinda arrange them on the platform here. Let me zoom in just a little bit for you guys. And we'll see which one does best. Uh, next up will be this one. It's gonna be Wet Fire. And that is by Ultimate Survival Technologies. And a lot of these starters will be the same. They'll be basically the same technology it looks like to me. All weather tender it says. My knife I'm gonna be using is the Oppenel. Love it, love it, love it. Super lightweight, functional. And in snow I'm not clip clipping it to the pants anyhow because they just get lost. So let's do one tab. This is wet fire right here. Uh, let me do two tabs because that trioxane block is kind of big, right? You kind of cheat in making such big blocks, but you'll be able to see them on camera better, I think, that way. Now, one thing we're not really doing in this test is I don't have rain falling right now. It would be super cool if I did. And I don't have wind. So again, this is just kind of, I don't know, just a little look-see. Here's a UST Light My Fire Tinder. I think they include this with several of their fire starters. 
that's included. A uh, couple fire starters I'm not showing are like uh, Vaseline coated cotton balls. Yeah, I'm just not too much into those. I'm just gonna do two tabs here and I'm gonna cut this just a little bit. We don't need a tab that big. I never use a tab that big to start a fire. Yeah, about like that. So that's, uh, dude, I wish I had a thing. I forgot, let me just put this right here. That's light my fire. This is wet fire or wet my diaper. <laughs> I'm gonna call that wet my diaper. This is trioxane. And once upon a time I bought this from BQM. And then here comes another one. And it's kind of ripping apart in the bag. This is solid fuel cubes esbit. So it's meant for an esbit stove. I bet you it's made out of the same exact stuff this stuff is. I betcha. So this is meant to heat up, you know, like a cup of coffee. Use like their folding stove. They show it right here. I reviewed some uh, very excellent survival lightweight wood stoves this summer, past summer, and I was impressed. I really liked them. So this is the Esbit right here. Um, I don't have any other natural tenders either. Here comes SOL Fire Quick. Let me turn on the light here. Oh, that's better. Oh, I'm sorry, Tender Quick. And that is SOL. We're gonna use one pack of these. And again, we're using, not one pack, I'll use two or three of these. We're using more than we would normally just for this test. Now, the thing is, we are getting out of this test is it's super cold uh, with a medium relative humidity. And so that's something. I do find making a fire in the cold is, is harder. It's more difficult, no doubt. I mean, I got no doubt in my mind from experience. Summer, it's a lot easier cranking a fire off. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else? I think that's it, just five. I'm gonna leave this here for eye candy and check out this beautiful array of wood that I have hauled up on my freaking back. <laughs> Sick. Oh, you don't know how excited I am. It saves me so much time. Um, I am gonna kind of split these down a little bit as we go here. I'm gonna use a Sog Aura with some rust on it from previous expeditions. Reviewed, shown, discussed. Love this knife, it's such a great knife, the Sog Aura. It, it's calling really is doing exactly what I'm doing here. Kind of high moisture, camping, uh, day hiking, stuff like that. It is 8CR, I think, if I'm remembering, right? The steel. Look at how cool that platform is, man. Without that, <laughs> dude, this would be a nightmare. I'd be going through, you know, 30 inches of snow. I'd have to shovel to where it got compacted enough. Nah, forget that. So if I have links to these, I'll put them in the description. TMP or seem to love it when I do that. And I usually do it these days, subject to change. If I get busy, I won't. Now a good tender should generate its own heat in my book. That's number one, that it should burn so ferociously that if you have slightly moist wood, which by the way, this is, uh, where did that other one go? Well, there's a critique item right there, dudes, and a pretty good one. Don't make your pellets white, survival companies. I mean, look, I dropped that. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Well, it's blending in with the snow. Dye it so it's, I don't know, look at the trioxane, it's purple. And this uh, SOL Tender Quick is off color white, but that would be my first recommendation. Colorize your tender. Bright orange would be a great color. Purple, bright blue, something that you don't find in nature, says me. What I was gonna tell you guys is that it should generate its own heat and burn pretty hot. That way it, it will be more forgiving with your tender. Now this wood you may think is totally dry, it's not. It actually was in the backyard and it absorbed uh, rain and snow for the last, I don't know, year, sitting horizontally. So 
If, if I think about it, I'll measure the moisture content of it and I'll let you know of what this particular wood batch is. Um, probably better than what I'm finding out here, you know, in the wilderness. Like if I was to, again, take some of this off. I mean, what's the moisture content of that? Huge. You know, go over here, find dead wood, like this little one right here. Some dead wood right there. I don't know if you're seeing it. That right there, the that part. That's probably got high moisture, even though it's sitting vertically. So I'd have to process it, get to the center of the wood. Oh, open into the mothership here. And uh, that's how it would have to go. But I do think this wood is probably better than what I would get here in the field. It would be pretty funny, by the way, if some dude, there's a trail right here. If some dude came down snowshoeing or, or uh, skiing, you know, cross country skiing down slope, and he sees me with a platform, a little fire going, I'd actually invite him for some hot cider. I'd be a good host. That's what you should do. All right. So I'm just gonna, that's as far as I wanna take it down. I don't wanna spend a lot of time, you know, what I call TCE always have out here. Let's get the fire going, get down to business, and get going. So I'm gonna set this kind of in the snow for now to make room. I'll put this one right here. And my fire starters, what should we use? I have my fire kit right here. This is what I normally hike with. I did do a fire, fire starter video several years ago. It was fall when I did it. And I got my freaking mirror in here too. Awesome. So that's a United uh, Ultimate Survival's Technology singly mirror. Really excellent. Striker here. Here's some trioxane from previous adventures. You do have to wrap it up. It will evaporate. That's a downside to trioxane. trioxane. But it lasts. See, there's still stuff in there. And this is what, five years ago? So I use this particular pack. Here's, uh, I think, I hope I'm telling you right, the brand. Uh, I forget the brand on this. This match case and the matches inside is excellent. I want to say UST, but I'm not sure. I review those. They're so good. Really an awesome match case. Now, this company gets it. It's yellow. I mean, I can see that. I drop in the snow. Hey, where's my match case? Right there. REI Stormproof Matches. Always a win. Love those, but maybe I will use to light my fire, flint, and steel. I'll go old school on it. Uh, first up, the trioxane. And it is burning. You may not be able to tell it, but it is. See it? And let's go. What is this one? Wet my diaper? Whatever it's called. I don't like the consistency of it, dude. It sucks. See it? It's like totally breaking. Um, and now the parts have flown in the snow and I don't know where it went. So, geez. I'm going to kind of give that a fail for striking. And I'm on a really good platform. Meanwhile, look at the freaking trioxane just going to town. It's the best, dudes. It's not even a comparison. Uh, so, let me see. I gotta give this a fair shake. That Let me cheat and I'll, I'll start this stuff like that. There it goes. And if I had a lighter, it would do better. There it goes, it's starting. Start that. And then this one is a uh, fire starter. This, these little tablets here. Let's see if they can light easily and readily with flint. Wow, this is really telling, is it not? Look at the trioxane, it's, it's good to go. And now that wet my diaper started, it's doing pretty good too. I'm not gonna attempt to build a big fire, dudes. I'm just trying to sh show you how these work. When uh, that is, uh, I'm not really digging it really. It's just too brittle. It's not tough enough. And a lot of, you know, survival guys, outdoor guys, bushcrafters, they like flint and steel. And I'm giving my best shot.
Dude, if it's not starting with that, it sucks ass. Yeah, I mean, I can light it like this. This is the United or Ultimate Survival's technology. Light my, light me tender, whatever the hell it's called. Look, it's still not catching on fire. Oh, dudes. Is it smoldering? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, we have a really nice little fire started with the trioxane. <laughs> and I call it wet my diaper, but it's actually the, uh, it's also a UST wet fire. A little bit brittle, a little bit. So I'm just gonna start going here. Next up, uh, so look, that's just starting to catch on. I'll basically call that a fail. Next up are the solid fuel cubes, Esbit, right here. Let's see if I can start it with a flint and steel. I know you guys just gonna love this video. I know you guys love it. Holy freak, dude. Are you kidding me? God, what the hell? Am I missing something? See, dude, if it doesn't start just right out the gate, something is messed up. Let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing right here. And you can see the shower of sparks. This is what I love about infield testing. Jeez. Uh, Esbit, not doing good at all. Hey, I've never had a problem with it. Yeah, well, I'm in the snow. It's 20 degrees out here and it sucks. Welcome to reality, dudes. Hey, I took it outside my backyard and man, it worked great. I mean, it was 80 degrees. That's it. I mean, I'm just giving that a fail. I'm gonna start it with this flame. Look, it's not even starting, man. Let me skewer it right here. Oh, it's also brittle. I can't like, like stab it. Well, I'm gonna super cheat now. And where did that go? These are pretty cool too, these torches. Butane torch. Oh, daddy like. And it's 20 degrees and it's working great. Let's see if it lights now. What? It's not even lighting. Oh, let me get another cube out to make sure I'm not lying to you guys. What the hell? I cannot believe this. Okay, there's a brand new cube. Am I missing something? Solid fuel cubes, Esbit. Uh huh. Oh, there it goes. It finally caught on. Finally. Or did it? Nope, it went out. Like I said, dudes, trioxane that was under here, it's still going. Everything fails out here. Like right now, it's not lighting. <laughs> See? <laughs> Why did it not light? Did it get moisture in it? I don't know. Probably. Dude, it totally failed on me right there. So there you go. Well, in field reality. Thought it was awesome. Uh, this works all the time. Flint and steel. Another one that I've shown you, I'll re-recommend it, is a Coglins. That is a great flint and steel and it doesn't cost nothing. And then almost always, I'll bring up a regular lighter with me as well. All right? Oh, there it goes. It decided to start burning. Welcome to the party. Jeez. Weak. Uh, what I was gonna show you is like, you know, just regular lighter like this. Here's my rape whistle, by the way. Then if this, does, this doesn't work, you know, I'll resort to more creative things. This still sucks. Look, it's still been smoldering. The Light Me Tender by UST, fail. Uh, where did my flint and steel go? It went right here. So now at last, we are going to try the SOL Tender Quick, which is kind of light orange in color. I'll try it with a flint and steel to begin with. Where we go here, right there. Oh, that's a good shot right there. 
So, my opinion is I sh it should get one shower of sp sparks and start. Hey, it's cold out, so this is when I really need it. Hey, it's not totally dry. Again, this is when I really need it. It should be able to do it. And I'm not trying to game this in any way. I'm just trying to give all of these fire starters the best showing I possibly can. That one's not starting either. It's like crackling with flint and it's still not starting. Oh, this one finally started burning. Jeez, that took like five minutes. If there had been any wind or rain, it would have totally failed. Wouldn't have worked at all. At all. Stoke that up a little bit. All right, a couple more times. And then like all the others, I can cheat with it and start it with another flame. Damn, son. This is failing. Instructions. Oh, okay, duh, pull edges of tinder apart. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if it helps. I'm not convinced that's gonna help. All right, I see, so it's kind of a cotton effect thing. There we go. So let me make sure I'm following the instructions again. Uh, repeatedly strike, okay. So fluff it up a little bit. That's what they're saying. Okay, so I'm having to prep it. I don't like that. Requires some dexterity. Like that story by Jack London, to light a fire. What if I don't have, oh, there it goes. Oh, it works better when you follow the damn instructions. <laughs> it worked okay once I did it right. Oh, geez. Makes me wonder, are those other ones like that too? Oh, I guess I wasn't doing this one right either. <laughs> what a doofus. Well, I told you this is a raw in-field test. Okay, so this one's the same way. I gave it a fail to light me tender, but you know, you gotta fluff it up as well, which I think is hokey, dudes. It's hokey. I wanna have to fluff it up. I just wanna break it out, throw it on the piece of wood in my ramp and go. Is that too much to ask? So this is a redo of light my fire, this one. It is fluffed up a little bit. Uh, and this one's doing okay. I still am not super impressed with it. It seems like it would blow out, just like I blew it out. And it did, it blew out. I think all these, these cottonized tenders, I just think they'll blow out. And it says dry them off if they're wet they can get wet and then they won't work that good. Okay, so it's kind of going there. All right, so it started eventually, but if I blew on that hard, it would go out. I, I still don't like it. I don't like any of these, uh, to be totally honest with you guys. I think they suck. <laughs> and let me remind you, I mean, so I'm gonna pull out this old trioxane, right? And let's just see how this fires up with the flint and steel. No preparation, no fluffing necessary. Windproof, waterproof. It's the best fire starter out there, dudes. Trioxane, trioxane. There it goes. Took more than a couple strikes, but there it goes. See it? Boom. So, that's the video right there. Uh, granted, I didn't follow the instructions, but welcome to everyone. Everyone just gets it out and does it, right? I know you're the same way. Don't act like you're not. <laughs> you just, I don't know, you just throw it on there and hope it catches on fire. You know, it has instructions here. Fluff it up. But windproof, I highly doubt it. Rainproof, I really, really doubt that. The only one on the, the platform that would be any of those things is this one right here, the trioxane. Yeah, so... Uh, total win for the Oppenel, of course. The Sog Aura, love it, love it, love it. And I guess that Butane Torch was a fail too. These things are always a win. These matches right here, very cool. Ooh, let's try if it'll strike on that because that's snow encrusted now. Oh, let's see it. 
Oh, oh. Houston, we have a problem with that striker because it was wet. Let's do this though. I have this spare striker that I keep in plastic. And I'll try that. This is why we carry flint and steel, correct? Because it is reliable in the moisture. There we go. But you gotta keep that dry. And which I do. It keep it's in basically triple plastic, this striker. So I knew that would fail on the side because it's wet. There you go. In field, snowy conditions, fire starter review, not fancy project. Uh, go with Traxing. That's what I say, just go with Traxing. And maybe your mileage varies, who knows. Uh, but for these conditions of where I'm at, right here, right now, yeah, I, I don't want to have to rely on that crap. Not at all. TMP, thanks for watching. Travel safely, go out and make your own adventures. See you guys later.